Yep. The Mountain West, including parts of Idaho, will be experiencing an annular solar eclipse. Annular, a yes. new word I learned today. Uh, and so what is a solar eclipse? Well, we brought in an expert. <laughs> well. Rachel Garceau is here to break it down. And Rachel, you, you know that, I mean, you guys were just talking. Uh -huh. I didn't know what was going on. I thought you were speaking French. <laughs> but apparently this is something that's going to be happening in a few days. On Saturday. On Saturday. Saturday okay. the 14th is an annular solar eclipse. Not to be confused with annual, right? Okay. They sound very similar. Okay. Yeah. So annular means ring shape. So if you hear people talk about a ring of fire eclipse, yeah. that's what this is. Okay. So not an annual eclipse, but annual. So, okay, so it won't be every year. And I'm not, not putting every, it on my calendar. I, okay. I think viewers are very familiar with the terms total eclipse, yep. partial eclipse. So what are we going to be experiencing on Saturday? Okay, so here's what we'll look at. I have some graphics to help illustrate this. Whoa, so Saturday the 14th, look at that. fancy stuff, right? So okay. a ring of fire eclipse happens when the moon is at its furthest point away from Earth. So it doesn't completely obscure the sun. Okay. Instead, it will just give us that ring of fire in the path of annularity, which Idaho is not, okay? okay. So the last annual, annular eclipse was back in 2012, and we won't have one again until 2039. So this is not unheard of. It's not maybe once in a lifetime necessarily, but it is rare, right? Yeah. Okay, so here's this map that shows you where that dark gray shading is. Mm -hmm. That is where you see obviously the path going through. So that's the path of annularity. People that will see this full ring of fire eclipse. Oh, now, thanks on to be in the Northeast. They see, think, look they, at that. they don't get, they don't they get, get the good nothing. stuff like we do. I know, so you can see Idaho is in that shading about 80%. So in about 130 miles to the, on each side of that path of annularity, that's where you'll start seeing maybe 80 to 85% Got it. of this eclipse, right? So we we will not okay. see the total ring of fire. However, we will see some okay. of the eclipse. Got it. And there's a banner there saying yep. path of annular eclipse. Exactly. So is that the, to the total That's eclipse? That's the path. If you said totality like yep. we did with our eclipse in 2017, this is annularity. So okay. it enters, yes, on the coast of Oregon. It goes through parts of Nevada and Utah all the way down to Texas and then into South America. And this whole thing is only about an hour to an hour and a half across the U.S. So it happens okay. pretty quick. So southwest Idaho, if you're going to hang out here, maybe in the Treasure Valley and try to catch a glimpse of this, the part Partial may begin around 9 to 9, 10 on Saturday morning. Okay. okay. And then our max, which is about 80 to 84 percent, maybe around 10, 15 a.m. I will say, you guys, it's hard to find exact numbers for this because we're not in that path of annularity. Yeah. So this is um, about where we'll see Winnemucca, Nevada, Northern Nevada. They will see total annularity at around 10, 25 a.m. Got it. So I'm thinking here in southwest Idaho, we're looking yeah. at 10, 15 to 20, 10, and Winnemucca 20. at 10, 25, but it's a crazy place to be. The fact <laughs> that we're not in the path of totality, though, does mean something something very important safety-wise. Yes. Actually, for everyone with this type of eclipse, you need um, eye protection. You, you cannot look. We do need it. You do need it. Okay. This is not like the total eclipse we had back in 2017, where you could briefly take off the glasses, uh -huh. look right at it because the sun was completely obscured then. This is Got not it. that. The, yes. the sun will not be completely obscured. So no matter where you're viewing the eclipse from, you will need either glasses, a viewing box, or some way to protect your eyes if you're going to check out. And glasses, we're talking eclipse glasses, eclipse not glasses. sunglasses. Sorry, yes. okay. If you look at the sun in your glasses, you could go blind. Yes. You don't want people going don't do blind. That. Don't do Make that. Make sure you have the proper blocking out glasses, which I know some museums here are offering that. Good. And like you said, you can look online that there's yep. viewing boxes you can make at home. Yep. Rachel, you're amazing. You're the best. Oh, thanks, we love guys. you, Rachel. Thanks for having me. Joey, hey, thanks for hanging out. Let's today. watch an eclipse, people. <laughs> we'll see you all back here tomorrow at 12:30 for Idaho Today on Channel 7.